Hello and happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back. It's time again for another edition of the Weekly Member Spotlight. I am here today with a very, very familiar face and very excited to sit down with the president of our associate council, Mr. Jerry Johnson. Good morning, Jerry. Morning. It's good to be here. Thank you so much, Jerry. I am coming to you from Chicago today, pre-recording this uh, Weekly Member Spotlight because I selfishly insisted that I be the one that get to interview you today. So <laughs> thank you for being flexible. But Jerry was one of our very original Weekly Member Spotlight features four years ago, probably. So much has changed since then. And Jerry, in his um, revived role as president, again, of um, the Associate Council, and Jerry has... Uh, I don't know if you'll call it a new role, but some exciting things that have gone yeah. on with this company. So he agreed to sit down and I'm very excited to share with you uh, a little bit more about Jerry Johnson. So um, for those of you who might have been, I don't know, under a rock for the last decade, uh, Jerry is the national account manager for rent. We may um, need some clarity, Jerry, because I was, I was present when the, the rent um, rebranding was launched. So why don't we just dive right in there? Tell us a little bit about who you are with Rent, what you do at that company, and anything that's new and exciting about the rebranding. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. First of all, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I remember four years ago when we did this, and and I just I know the association myself appreciate you continuing to do this. It's a lot of work, so thank you. Um, and I'll start with uh, first of all, thanks for starting with Rent. Yeah, there sometimes there is some confusion. So so yeah, we rebranded as of June. Uh, we we launched our new rebrand in in at uh, Apartmentalize, um, and uh, we went from Rent Path to Rent. Uh, super excited. Lots of things are changing. Um, some things have stayed the same. Uh, we're just enhancing them. Uh, and, and in my role, I handle the national accounts uh, part of rent. So, you know, what we define that is, you know, larger companies with a large footprint. Um, and and there's, we have a team of about 12 uh, that are on the national team. And I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, it's something that I've worked towards. Uh, I've been with rent for crazy enough, uh, almost 15 years. And uh, yeah, so I really, it was a goal of mine when I was uh, first started and, and I've, I've been able to work my way through it and it's, it's exciting. Well, that is exciting. And it's, you know, for those of us who have kind of known you from the beginning, it's crazy to think it's been so long. How did you actually get into the multifamily business and, and into the role at Rent? Yeah. So prior to, to coming into multifamily, I was in finance. So I, I, uh, I worked at the bank in college. And then after that, I, I became uh, I started doing brokering and, and lending. Um, and I met a guy uh, named Mike Klum through the uh, through the lending, through my pro, through my finance background. Mike had come to uh, at that time, we were just called apartment guide, um, called me up and said, hey, man, I, I, we're looking for somebody. I think you might like this. Um and it was a big decision for me at the time. I was just about to have my wife and I were about to have our first child and I was making a career move. So I was a little nervous, uh, but it's worked out great. So I, I can't be, uh, I can't complain. Well, I mean, banking is very important, obviously, but gosh, you made the right decision. I, I don't <laughs> think you'd be very uh, entertained being in the banking industry. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was not, it, this has been much more fruitful. So I'm yeah. excited. Well, what do you like most about our industry? You know, I think for me, uh, there, there's several things. I think the, the, the number one is the people. Um, you know, I, I've had great fortune to meet and become very close with a lot of folks throughout my time. And, and that both on the vendor side and, and primary side, I just feel like the business is really full of good uh, folks that, that have a lot of common goals and, and are, you know, honest, ethical good folks. And it's just, a, it's a good business to be a part of. It is. And I, this is the only industry I ever have, have worked in or around. And so I don't know if it's the same in other industries, but not only do the people we work with become our coworkers, but their family and friends. That's and I, I mean, looking back, the people that are closest to me in my life, it's because of this business outside of the people I was, the family I was born into. Um, there's just no one else that I've ever, um, felt as close to you as the people in our industry. So I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. If it, second family, I think that that is exactly what I actually wrote down. And, and when I was kind of looking through the questions, I wrote down second family. So I totally agree. Yep. Well, what are, what are some of the things that you have faced in your career? And I think it's interesting, um, yeah. the, the concept of 
how advertising has changed. You mentioned apartment guide and it immediately took me back to the books that you would pick <laughs> up at Kroger, you know, when you were looking for an apartment. And now it's this very, you know, digital um, world that we are living in and, and online reputation and online advertising is literally all we know. Yeah. What, what have been some of the challenges that you've been a part of um, and that you've worked through in your career? Yeah, I think I think the challenge goes along with uh, goes along with opportunity, right? So, so I'll, I'll share a, a fun little story here. So, so when I started at Apartment Guide, um, we had an office downtown. I'm walking into an office on the 12th floor. I overlooked the whole city. It was amazing. I thought, gosh, I've I've made it. Uh, we also printed a book. Um, we shared computers. There was actually two computers in our office, and you had to sign up to use the computer. Uh, and in 15 years, we've gone from that to, I can do anything for a customer or my job related from my car. Uh, that's, that's how far the business has gone. Um, so within that's been a lot of challenges. Change is, is, um, can be difficult. Um, it can be, it can be hard, uh, particularly in this business because you are creating partnerships and sometimes those changes affect the partnerships and, you have to grow with your customers and, and learn how to um, manage those expectations and things like that. And that's kind of why I go back to the people. Um, throughout all this, the partnerships I've built, you know, almost everyone I've dealt with has just been so great about as long as you're upfront, honest, and, and doing the right thing, you're you're gonna you're gonna be all right. Um, so I think, like I said, with, with that, with the challenge came an opportunity to grow and learn. And, and allow people to help me grow. And, and so I think that's what I tried to do throughout my time. And it's, it's really benefited me. I can tell you as, you know, an operator and someone who interacts with a lot of people who are trying to do their best to provide solutions for the ever-changing world um, that, that we find ourselves in today, it is very helpful when you have people that are approachable and real and, and know what we're facing and genuinely want to help. So I, I think you definitely embody all of those things. And it's very helpful um, for, for those of us trying to, you know, get the job done every day. Yeah. What, yeah. what if anything, can you think of Jerry that you hope to see play out in your career? Are there any, whether it's technologies or yeah. changes to the industry, anything like that, that you're like, I really want to see this in my you know lifetime, anything that you can think of or point to? Yeah, I think um, so. So I, you know, much like you, I know I'm in love with the with the business. So I want to see the business last and be long lasting, long after I'm I'm gone, uh, which hopefully isn't forever. Hopefully soon enough, <laughs> sooner rather than later. Um, but I would love to continue to see young people come into young skilled workers come into the industry, um, both on the maintenance side, you know, owner side of the business, associate side. Um, you know, I've been seeing a little bit of it more in the last two years where I'm watching some of the younger folks come in and and, and continue to, to grow the business. But that's the backbone of the business. We've got to have folks that are going to take leadership roles, much like you and I have, um, to push the business forward. Uh, so I'm going to work as hard as I can until I'm not involved anymore uh, to, to make sure we're, we're growing you know, that pipeline of young folks that wants to push the business forward. Well, that kind of is a perfect um, segue <laughs> to my next question, which is what advice would you offer up to the next generation of industry professionals? Yeah, I think that the, the biggest advice would be get involved. Um, um, so uh, a little bit about me. When I started, uh, I was like, came into the business. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know this business at all. Uh, I ran into an organization called uh, the Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Apartment Association, and they gave me opportunities. <laughs> familiar, right? So they gave me multiple opportunities to get involved. Um, it, it, even you and I's connection, we have never necessarily worked together, uh, you know, from a where we're you're my uh, customer, but yeah. we've gotten to know each other a lot because we shared events together. We've been to events, lots of common goals. So. It gives you an opportunity as a young person to build your business and and do it in a way that uh, can also help the community, right. um, which I love. And, and look, there's other opportunities. There's a National Supplier Council. Um, you know, there there's National Apartment Association. So I think there's many many different aspects that you can go and get involved. And then to take it a step further, 
the education part of it. I mean, there's a lot of designations and, and things you can do to earn credits that will help you grow your career within the multifamily space. Very good advice. Well spoken. And I want to, we're going to backtrack for just a second because I introduced you um, not only as Jerry Johnson, you know, national account director for for rent, but you're also the president of our associate council. And I don't think we have enough time this morning for me to like go through the list of the committees that you chair or that you (laughs) serve on um, and what you do at the national level as well. So can we pause and just for a moment, maybe talk a little bit about your involvement. Um, Obviously associate council is a big deal and and we are so thankful for your service there, but what are some of the other committees or um, ways that you serve for the GCNKAA that are so meaningful to you? Yeah, so it's it's funny. I was uh, I was just met with a new member, uh, and, and he was asking me. This person was asking me how, how you know what's the process I should go through, and so I was going through it and talking about the committees I've been on. I think I've served on every committee, and I think I've chaired almost every committee at Probably some point. Twice. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but the but the the best opportunities are the ones I've loved the most. Uh, there's a there's an event in December. Uh, it's the Holiday Cheers auction and fundraiser. Um, I still chair that. I think this is my seventh year. Uh, Tanya Beckner and I have been chairing that for a long time. Um, so the event is is essentially uh, an opportunity for the associate council uh, to work with you know members of our organization, and our goal is to raise as much money as we can for nonprofit organizations that we support. Uh, when I started chairing this event. It was um, we we were getting about twelve thousand dollars raised, and it was at different venues and different things. Um, so last year, total number was more around fifty thousand dollars. So we've been able to grow that um, from a from a good number to a great number. Yeah. Um, and you know what's great is every dollar of that money is being directly put back into the community, and it's our community. It's yeah. it's people we might cross paths with at work, you know, on the streets, uh, you know, but we're helping folks that need help. And it's just, to me, that's the best thing about it. It's, it, you know, I'm getting paid to, uh, to help other people. And to me, that's a, that's a great thing. That is, I think our, I, I, don't, I mean, it's hard to quantify what the best event is, but that is sure a great event. How long have we yeah. been doing holiday cheers? If you've been chairing it for seven years. Yeah. So it, the, the story of, of the way that event evolved is, is amazing. I mean, we used to run this event. Um, so the GCNK used to have an office in Covington, which was uh, not a large office. Mm-hmm. And, and literally, it would be at that office. And this started uh, roughly 25, 30 years ago uh, with some great you know, folks that, that saw the vision and kind of knew they had to start somewhere. Yeah. Um, but, it, but it literally started with, getting canned goods, getting donations. And, and that's, and then it's evolved into what we have now. Um, so it, like, it's just amazing the power of people. And if, if you work together and have a common goal, what you can, what you can accomplish. Well, that's exciting. And I, I know, I think back to over the pandemic when we, you know, our, our partners in the community depend on us with the, yeah. the donations and, um, sure. you know, to, to, provide support during a time that so many people needed support during the pandemic, we figured out a way to do the virtual event. And I know that yes. was uh, very exciting that our, our organization and our community came together to make sure that even in the middle of, you know, the pandemic, when we couldn't get together and dress up and have that fun yep. evening, we still were able to come together and provide what the community um, needed from us, which was the, the donation and the funding and uh, another year of support. That's right. It was amazing. You know, it's, it's interesting you bring that up. That was a, uh, needless to say, much like everybody, that was a challenging time um, yeah. because we didn't have technology in place at the association. You know, it's we're a nonprofit organization. It's not like we have a bunch of money to throw into technology. So uh, we quickly were able to get funding and, and create a technology base to be able to host the event. So you're, you're exactly right. It, it's, again, a, a proof that when you come together, you can you can do great things. I'm, I'm already counting down for this year's event, yeah. so I can't Thank wait. I, I'm sure you'll be the face of um, making sure everyone knows what's going on for that. So everyone stay tuned. Yes. Um, well, before we shift gears and get into uh, knowing you a little bit more on the personal side, I wanted to ask you, having been in the industry for, you know, 
probably most of your life and um, involved with this association and multifamily for so long. What is one of your favorite stories about this industry? If you're swapping stories with, you know, a, a fellow veteran of the industry, what comes to mind? You know, it, it's, it's uh, interesting. There's so many wonderful stories. I, you know, I kind of shared one. Uh, I, I share the story about how it started for me, where we shared computers, which I just think is hilarious. We had to sign up. So stuff like that to uh, my first apartmentalized to, you know, doing some things individually for work that I, that I was able to accomplish. But kind of when I reflect on it, again, it goes, it goes back to the people and, and just all these relationships that um, I've been able to have in my life that I didn't have prior to this that have been amazing for me. Uh, I've learned a ton um, and just been able to grow not only professionally, but personally. Uh, so, so to me, it's like, it's hard to pick one. Um, so, so I would say the people and my experiences with all those folks have really just shaped my life. Love that. It is hard to pick one, um, <laughs> but I, I like that sentiment and um, I, I could not agree more. <clears throat> well, if you're good, Jerry, I would love to shift gears unless yeah. there's anything else on the professional side that you want to make sure we underscore just have to share, you know, I mentioned before, uh, my goal was to get young people. I want some young people energized. So I'm, I'm lucky, not, not, uh, and I'll share this, not that I pushed uh, these folks to join the industry, but I'm lucky my nieces, uh, who are two wonderful young women, um, both have now joined the uh, industry and are working in the industry and doing wonderful and love it. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is, I guess, is what I'm saying. I love that so much. And you know, it is funny. So many of us have family that are in the industry. I'm in the industry yeah. because my aunt was in the industry and I went to work with yeah. her one day in high school. And here we are all these years later. <laughs> so it's, it is funny that that it's a family yeah. affair, right? I'm excited about it. It's great. Well, speaking of family, that's the first kickoff question here. Tell us a little bit about your family. Yeah. You know, I, uh, along with being blessed with, with the multifamily career, I, I'm most blessed uh, with my family. I'm, mm -hmm. My wife, uh, almost 20 years we've been married, uh, just my best friend and, and just awesome supports me in anything I do. Um, and we have three wonderful children. I've got, I can't believe I'm saying this, I have a senior, uh, Luke, who is a senior in high school, which is crazy to me. And then my son, Dylan, is a, is a freshman in high school. And then my daughter is sixth grader. Uh, and they're, you know, they're into everything, sports, art music, dancing. Uh, so they keep my wife and I very busy, uh, which we love. Um, and we just enjoy every minute of, of, you know, being around it. And I think added to that, you know, what's great about the industry or, or where I'm at with rent is I just have the ability to not only be able to be professional and grow my career, but they've given me the opportunity to really be a father and be able to be present. And that's just been wonderful. And, and probably, uh, the main reason, you know, I'm still here is is because I have that flexibility and that um, trust from the company and and to be able to support the family. So it's great. Well, that's incredible to hear. And and it feels silly to even ask this question because I think you just answered it. But hobbies, like what does your family do in spare time? And I think you guys are going in all <laughs> yeah. the directions to support yeah. kids and, and what yeah. we're doing. But what do you do as a family or, you yeah. know, to to spend your time together? Yeah, I mean, other than being a, a part-time chauffeur at night, I uh, I, I tend, uh, you know, we we together we do a lot of things. You know, uh, I'm an active person, uh, so we do a lot of things. You know, outside together, uh, we you know one thing we do every year we always get to the lake. We like boating, um, you know, and and I'm big into exercising, so my kids will exercise with me. My wife, my wife will. Um, so we we just try to be together as much as we can. Um, it goes by so fast. And I know everyone says this, but I feel like it's like disappearing. Um, so I'm trying to take advantage of every second. Very true. It's uh, crazy to think you have a senior for sure. What's the, <laughs> what's the senior, senior year plan? Have you scheduled senior pictures and are yeah. you doing any kind of anything special oh, yeah. for, for his senior year? Yeah. Yeah. It's much like you just said, a lot of planning. Um, and you know, he's, uh, he's doing an internship through hit for a senior year with the company. So, um, we're excited about that. That's been a what interesting transition. So he's into computers programming, um, and things like that. So yeah, he's, uh, we'll, we'll see where that takes him. Um, you know, we're, we're still finding out 
is college the path for him or not? So he's still thinking through that. So we're kind of looking at both options. So uh, it's amazing to me that uh, he's he's the man that he is and getting ready to be a full grown man, I feel like. So uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Well, my son just turned 11 and I'm like, what in the world has happened yeah. in the past decade? And please <laughs> do not let the next decade be so fast. I, I'll tell that's you, right. I, um, and I know you're not um, one that's super prevalent on social media, but um, <laughs> I know, I know your wife is on social media and, yep. and um, I'm sure you can attest to when you get to kind of see things online like that and see people yeah. grow up and see the, you yeah. know, the back and forth and, and the side by side timeline almost of that happening. It makes it even more painful to realize how fast <laughs> it goes. It absolutely does. And you're right. My wife is, uh, she's big into social media. And so she, she does, we do that a lot. Like my son just turned 17 uh, in August or earlier in August. And so she's got these side by side photos and it's just amazing to me to watch, you know, how fast it's gone and how much he's grown up. It's crazy. Well, here's to hoping time will slow down. Yes. My, my son got really emotional. Um, August is hard. It's like his birthday. He's getting older, back to school, yeah. all the things. And he was like, mom, why is time going so fast? I'm like, <laughs> buddy, you got some bad news for you. Older you get, the faster it goes. I, the I faster it goes. You understand, but that's right. um, well, that's fun. Well, did you guys have any, um, any special vacations over the summer or do you have one plan that you're looking forward to? Yeah, we go every year. We're, we're lucky. Uh, we've, uh, there's a lake in Tennessee, Watts Bar Lake. Uh, my wife's family has been going there for years and years, years, long before we were together. And uh, we've, my wife and I and my family have been going, we go with my in-laws and then my brother and sister-in-law and their, and their son. We all go together and we, we stay on the lake for five, six days and have a ton of fun. And we've pretty much been doing that. I, gosh, it's probably been 10, 15 years we've been doing that every year. It's great. Yeah. Uh, that's nice to look yeah. forward to. And I want to go back because I meant to ask you when we were talking about the family piece. Do you have pets at home? Oh my goodness. Yeah. How could I leave out my Henry? He, I've got a dog. Uh, he just turned three. Uh, he's my shadow. As a matter of fact, he's sitting right behind me, uh, you know, laying I down to tell people let's, to get the pets on camera. <laughs> yes. Well, he's a, he's a ham. He get, he's a little anxious, but he gets, uh, he's, he's great. He's, he's the best thing we've done. We, what my kids beg. What'd you say? What kind of dog? Well, he, I mean, we rescued him, but I would say mostly chocolate lab. He's okay, about 40% chocolate lab. So, uh, but my kids begged us for years to get a dog. And, and I was like, no, 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 I'm not taking, you know, I couldn't do that. We finally did it. It's just been the best thing. We've, we've loved every second of it. Oh, well, that's fun. So besides your kids sports, which I know keeps you very busy, are you yeah. a, a professional sports or a college sports fan? And if so, who's your team? Yeah, so love professional and college. So I'm a big Cincinnati fan. I love the Bengals, love the Reds. Yep. Yeah, we finally got Bengals started in a week. So it's nice. been a long time since I've been excited about the Bengals season know, starting. Right? <laughs> so yeah, and then the Reds season ending will be good. So that's <laughs> either way. Yeah, um, and then, enough, right? yeah, right, right. And then my wife graduated from UK. So I, I've become a, a big UK fan. And then my, I'm originally from Michigan uh, in my Several of my family members went to U University of Michigan, so I'm a huge Michigan fan too. So I've got a I've got a little cluster of teams I root for. You've got an array. Right. There's never an off week so, for you. It sounds like there's not. Right? There's not, which I love. Much. So, <laughs> well, nice. What is one of your favorite foods or restaurants locally to enjoy? Yeah, you know, I love to find. So I travel a little bit for work, uh, and then and then you know locally, I love to find the hole in the wall, small like greasy spoon, you know, type. Yeah. Deal. So anything I when I'm going to a new town or I'm even home, I try to I try to find something that's unique or or you know good you know, relevant to that city and, and hit that up. I'm not big on the chains. Um, yeah. You know, I'd rather find something. Kind of, and Italian food is kind of my jam. So I, I love Italian. Anything Italian, I will I will eat. Dude, I'm in <laughs> Chicago for work, and we went to this Italian restaurant last night, and oh. it's. It's amazing I can fit into my food today because <laughs> it was delicious. And, yeah, it's awesome. you know, the, the bread and the pastas and all the things. Awesome. I'm like, probably should have taken it easy last night. But That's yeah, it. I'm with you. That's my favorite too. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Well, um, what about books or podcasts? Is there, do you have any time to read or listen to anything? And if so, anything catch your attention lately? Yeah. So, I mean, reading wise, I, you know, I'm a, I'm kind of a news 
I love to read the news. So pretty much every morning I'm, I'm reading, you know, the pap- digital paper, I guess, uh, every day. I like to I like to see what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then podcasts, you know, I'm, I love the sports podcasts. So there's yeah. several. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, have a fantasy football draft on Saturday. So that's been my focus for the last like three weeks. I'm watching some fantasy podcasts and hearing what people tell me to do because I don't know. I can tell you that. Right. <laughs> okay. I have to tell you. There is this documentary on Netflix about Man- Mante Teo. Really? Um, the oh, guy yeah. Who played for um, Notre Dame. Dame. And then yeah. he, I think he played for the Chargers maybe in his uh, NFL yep. career. Um, but it's about his whole like catfishing theme. Yes. Um, and it's on Netflix. It's like a two hours series. I just watched it this week. It's any sports fan. I was texting my nephews. I'm like, y'all have to watch this. It's, it's so amazing. Good. If you find I've two hours it. this weekend or this week, you got to watch it. I'd love it. I love it. Um, are you speaking of, of TV? Are you a TV or movie buff? And if so, what's, what's a favorite? Yeah. I mean, I don't watch a ton of TV, a lot of sports, but I would say uh, my wife has gotten me into several shows that I'm like, no, I'm not going to watch that. And then I ended up watching them and I love them. So it's over now, but game of Thrones was like, I thought, one of the best shows ever. I just I loved it. Few people who did not watch that, but I'm, I'm oh. feeling like I need to like go back and binge that. Yeah, it's hard though because your 11 year old can't watch it, so it's, it's like my you got my niece though. My niece watched it in real time, so she's got and she's got like a lot of collector things with it, and so yeah. Evan knows it's absolutely not right. Absolutely not something he would watch. Someday. Maybe that's why I didn't. Because I'm like, I don't want <laughs> to. Right, yeah. Come for what I'm watching here. Yeah, and, and I would say another. I uh, just all time favorite show that I think is great is The Office. I still watch it three times a week, probably. Yeah, just nobody. I just love it. So it does it. no, it doesn't. Makes me laugh every I time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun. Uh, well, I've got a couple more questions, and I'm going to okay. let you get to your Friday, and I'm going to get to my my meeting so I can get yes. through Friday too. Um, but I always love to ask, what is a random fun fact about yourself that people wouldn't otherwise know? Yeah. So I think one cool thing people probably don't know is I'm a twin. I have a twin sister. Um, and she, she lives that. in Michigan. I did know, but I always forget I that. <laughs> yeah. She lives in Michigan, but we're, we're tight. And uh, actually she just left this morning to go to Disney, her and her husband. So I'm jealous. Yes. Yeah, so they're off to Disney for the week, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's unique and fun and we've always had fun with it. Uh, her and I, at least uh, sharing that, that part of it. Well, that is fun. And I still, I don't think I've ever seen a picture. So next time I see you, I'm going to be like, I need You'll- photographic evidence. That you are in fact- <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it. You're- what's okay. crazy is, what's funny is I look more like my older sister, my twin and I, you, you would never, we don't look alike at all. That is so funny. it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. And, and does her name rhyme with Jerry? I mean, it probably has to. Her name's Carrie. Carrie, Carrie and Jerry. Like, Carrie yeah. and Jerry. It's going to have to be somewhere in that. That's true. Um, well, my very last question for you, Jerry, is how do you think people who know you from the business, how do you think they would describe you as a leader? Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you what I hope they do. That's I, I, I would say I, I hope um, they describe me as someone who's honest, uh, straightforward, ethical, um, and, and ultimately wants the best for whatever situation we're in. Um which is, which is what I try to do. Uh, so, you know, and, and I've been fortunate enough to be in leadership roles with the association and in my job. And um, again, like the folks I've had that I've worked with and been colleagues with have just, it's made that part really easy. So I, I hope they describe me as someone, you know, who's honest, I guess is, is the main thing. Well, I can attest, um, you are absolutely honest and so very supportive. And I, you, you mentioned this earlier, and I mean, I don't even think about it in this context. Like we've not technically worked together in, yeah. in the frame of what we each do for a living, but I consider you not only a friend, but a very trusted and valued industry colleague. And you're just, you're so approachable and welcoming. And um, I've been involved with the association for probably a lot less time than you have in terms of serving um, but you have always been one of the most approachable and supportive people. And um, I think you're a big part of why a younger generation is excited about, you know, coming into this organization, into the industry, because you are welcoming and approaching and accepting. So I am so grateful to serve alongside you. And oh. I, I look forward to your continued contributions. I'm so um, excited for the holiday cheers event and to see what's, what's going to play out for the rest of the year. We've got a big, um, 
golf outing coming up, I think. So fall golf outing, and yep. I'm sure you'll you'll be part of that. Anything else you're yep. really looking forward to before the end of the year with the association? If other than trying to slow down time, um, no, I, I think I think it's a packed agenda. You know, we have elections in October, so that'll be a big deal. Um, you know, and then we have uh, so my role with NEA, I've, I've got some things that I'll be doing there. Uh, so uh, and then we're lucky in Cincinnati to have Don Bruner uh, be the, the chairman of NEA, which is something really I just think. Uh, special for a market like ours. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, and so we'll be watching Don finish up his, uh, his reign and um, that'll be fun. And, and I'm excited about, you know, just finishing out the year strong. Well, I look forward to seeing you at our next event and thank you again, Jerry, for taking time to participate in this spotlight feature, learned even more about you today. And I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy this interview. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, appreciate everyone watching. We'll be back again next week for another edition of the Weekly Member Spotlight. Two, three, to the groove, come dance with me. Swing out, a jive in. Come on, honey, show me how you move it. Swing out, a jive in. One, two, three, to the groove.